Thanks, Jen, and good to see everybody here today. As you all know, President Biden held a secure video call today with President Putin. The call covered a range of issues, but the main topic was Ukraine. President Biden was direct and straightforward with President Putin, as he always is. He reiterated America's support for Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. He told President Putin directly that if Russia further invades Ukraine, the United States and our European allies would respond with strong economic measures. We would provide additional defensive materiel to the Ukrainians above and beyond that which we are already providing. And we would fortify our NATO allies on the eastern flank with additional capabilities in response to such an escalation. He also told President Putin there's another option, de-escalation and diplomacy. The United States and our European allies would engage in a discussion that covers larger strategic issues, including our strategic concerns with Russia and Russia's strategic concerns. We managed to do this at the height of the Cold War, and we developed mechanisms to help reduce instability and increase transparency. We've done this in the post-Cold War era through the NATO-Russia Council, the OSCE, and other mechanisms. There's no reason we can't do that forward going forward, provided that we are operating in a context of de-escalation rather than escalation. The United States, as we have been for some time, is also prepared to support efforts to advance the Minsk Agreement in support of the Normandy format. This could include a ceasefire and confidence building measures that helps drive the process forward. As I said before, the discussion between President Biden and President Putin was direct and straightforward. There was a lot of give and take. There was no finger wagging. But the President was crystal clear about where the United States stands on all of these issues. We believe from the beginning of this administration that there is no substitute for direct dialogue between leaders. And that is true in spades when it comes to the U.S.-Russia relationship. So President Biden welcomed the opportunity to engage clearly and directly with President Putin. Indeed, as President Biden said after his meeting in Geneva in June with President Putin, where we have differences, I want President Putin to understand why I say what I say and why I do what I do and how we'll respond to specific kinds of actions that harm America's interests and indeed harm our allies' interests. That's exactly what he did today. After the call, he spoke with the leaders of France, Germany, Italy, and the UK to debrief them on the call and to consult on the way forward. Our team is presently debriefing the embassies of NATO members, EU members, and key Indo-Pacific allies. The President will be speaking shortly with the leaders of both houses of Congress and talking to them about ways in which the administration and the Congress can work together on a bipartisan basis to stand up for American interests and values and stand behind our friends and partners. And President Biden will be speaking with President Zelensky on Thursday following on yesterday's discussion between President Zelensky and Secretary Blinken. In terms of next steps, the President and President Putin agreed that our teams will follow up on the issues discussed today. And the President and our Europe, his European colleagues agreed that our teams will work together to ensure that our engagement with Russia going forward both involves and is closely coordinated with European allies and partners so that we are all on the same page. There's a lot of work to do in the days ahead. As we pursue diplomatic channels, we will also prepare for all contingencies, just as we have been doing for weeks now, including through the preparation of specific responses to Russian escalation should they be required. Specific, robust, clear responses should they be required. That's where things stand as we speak, and with that, I'd be happy to take your questions. Yes.